let's do this. And because of that, it's a freedom. And right now I'm free. I am totally free to do anything and everything that I want to do. And starting today, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So Sometimes I just drive, like, um, you know, with what I do and the way that I travel, you know, I'm always in the air, um, crisscrossing the country and, you know, um, it's a privilege, it's an honor to, to be able to do that. But sometimes, you know, more and more lately, it's like when I've got stuff on my mind or things that I can't work out, I just get in my truck and I drive. And on this drive, I noticed that I was a padiddle, so I rolled into O'Reilly's. My dad's been in the auto parts business for over 30 years. He raised our family on that and, uh, you know, taught me how to turn wrenches a little bit. And I ended up being a service manager at a, at a Chevrolet store. So, you know, I've always loved getting my hands dirty a little bit. And my truck goes through headlights like you would not believe. I've checked harnesses. I've checked settings. Nothing can figure it out. No one can figure it out. So... 9005s. I recommend it change in both bulbs if you're going to change one, especially on my truck. But you know, it was a cold night, but I still had a little bit of fun turning wrenches. You know, I I drove down to Sornex uh, last weekend, and then picked up some equipment and drove straight to Pennsylvania. And I was in my truck for hours. And I mean, I don't I don't typically listen to the radio for long stretches. You know, just enough to kind of quiet my mind because my mind is always going. I'm always thinking about a million things that I could be doing, should be doing, um, ways to improve, ways to improve myself, ways that I can help others. And, um, you know, when I left Pennsylvania, I mean, I don't know if it was, it was like the noise was compounded because I saw everything that Rob and Dana Lynn had going on and I was like, man, I'm really behind the eight ball and I could be doing so much more or if it heightened the level of things to the point where what mattered started being clear. And the last, I would say 48 to 72 hours have been some of the most productive, creative hours of my life. Um, I've been on the phone, I've been texting people, calling people, uh, working on some things. So I'm really excited about what's coming in the next few weeks, uh, months and years. Um, I really feel like right now in this video uh, within the last two hours it was like that's the footprint the footprint for everything that I will become and the foot the footprint for everything I ever hope to be and you know I tell people <sighs> well, I don't tell people anything <laughs> you know what I what I convince myself of is that for so long, I was trying to fit a mold. I was trying to fit something that I was being told that I needed to do. You know, um, I wanted to I wanted to get out to California. I wanted to be in that lifestyle. I wanted to visit um, 
all these different gyms out there and, and see where I fit. And as much as I love California and as much as I um, love my time out there and enjoy it when I, when I go, you know, I think I needed to find myself at home. And not that I, not that I didn't recognize what Kentucky meant to me. And, you know, I've got 606 tattooed several places on my body in reference to, uh, you know, how much I love this place. But, you know, it's about inventing something here, something that is home and mine. And uh, I don't have to go somewhere else to be who I want to be. I can be myself right here. And I think that's the best part of this all is that, you know, coming to a point where I was probably one of the more popular powerlifters in the world and thinking that meant everything. And then looking around and realizing that when I fell, it didn't mean anything, you know, because I identified myself with how strong I was relative to the weight on my back. And when I fell, I was, I was incapable of anything. So figuring out who you are on the inside and what you're worth on the inside has been everything to me. You know, I think, um, that's one thing that I've started to work with, with other people is that you can get strong on the outside and that'll hide it. It'll hide everything that you got going on on the inside. But until you actually start, um, realizing that you got holes on the inside too, that need fixed and need strengthening, you're going to be imbalanced. You're going to be incomplete. And that's where I was, you know, I became, an outward shell uh which was a pure reflection of every insecurity that i had and in the time since my injury i've righted a lot of wrongs i've made a million apologies and probably have a million more apologies to go but um like i said you have to kind of settle up with yourself and do some things that you don't want to do and you have to expose some things that you don't want to expose um to really find out where you can start you know uh, life is a funny way of, of knocking you down and you, you keep trying to get back up you keep, keep trying to go forward and you know I've done that over and over and over with these surgeries I've had 13 of them and I've pushed so hard um, and every single time I've pushed I've kind of fallen back down and it was because I wasn't doing the work necessary you know from a therapy standpoint I would bypass all the therapy and just go to a squat bar and that's a perfect fucking parallel for life because until you fix the shit that you don't want to face until you dig down deep and you start looking at those demons right in the eye um, you can pretend that it's not there but only when you look them in the face and you you square up man to man and and do the right thing then you can start moving forward um, because if you don't, they're always going to be there. They're always going to be on your back and they're always going to call you back down. And no matter how high you fly, they always outweigh the top of the mountain. They're going to pull you right back down. So for me, um, like I said, I'm at a place in my life where I don't, I don't know how to feel right now because I can't remember a time where I've ever been this happy, where I've ever been this focused and this goal driven and the beautiful thing of all of it is is I've started to make right with people that that matter you know I've made first and foremost got right with myself and forgave myself for a lot of shit and asked forgiveness from a lot of people that that I should have asked it years ago some said fuck off and some said hell yeah you know like let's do this and because of that, it's a freedom. And right now I'm free. I am totally free to do anything and everything that I want to do. And starting today, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So thank you guys for watching. And um, it's going to be a ride.